have seen a video floating around the internet that shows you how to clean your couches and your carpet with a lid pot. The idea is that you get a large towel, soak it in baking soda and dish soap, and then wrap it around your pot. Secure it with a rubber band and then you are good to go. But are you really? Let me just show you something and I have an alternative for you. If you do this method, Really, the only thing that's going to get clean is around the edges. And the idea of using a lid pot is to get more surface area, right? I don't know about you, but I want more clean on my couches and carpets than a small circle. I'm going to show you how to do an even better trick with a shoe, preferably an old shoe. I'm also going to show you how to remove stains from a small area from your vehicle and a large area such as an entire couch. Yes, I have two white couches with four children and I maintain their whiteness. Before we get to the shoe, here's what you'll need. I like the scrub daddy. Anything I talk about will be linked in the description box below. I like this wool light carpet and upholstery because it has the scrubbers on this. I use this mainly for rugs that have a rougher surface such as in your vehicle or older carpets. But this one right here, I like to use all around. In fact, I've used it to clean my entire sofa and a good pair of gloves. I've mixed this in my Bissell when I've cleaned my entire couches, but for all intents and purposes, right here we got some chocolate coffee or something or another here on my runner so let that sit for a couple minutes make sure that you use extra warm water when it comes to your scrub daddy so that it can be extra soft this has been sitting a couple minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with the grain of the carpet if I can across back and forth and this Folex works uh Amazing. Let's just see here. We have browns already in the carpet. It's a bit of a gold color, but I think our original stain with just a couple strokes is pretty much up. If you have a more delicate surface area, I would suggest using a softer sponge, but this one works amazing as well. I think, I think we got it up. Not too shabby for what? Two minutes worth of effort? This video of course is not sponsored, but here are all the other ways that you can use Folex. Pretty amazing. But if you prefer using things that you already have around your house, typically a good sponge, warm water, and a little dish soap should do the trick. There's another way that I like to use this. It's nice because it's all in one, but if you have grout, a lot of times you need to get down in that grout line. And what you can do is just go ahead, scrub, 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 let it sit for a little bit, wipe it up, and then let it completely dry. Here we go. This is already a darker grout, but I know that it is very dirty because this is our mud entryway, so it often gets a lot of traffic. That has almost completely dried, but can you see where I cleaned with the wool light and where I did nothing? Yes. Save yourself the time and skip this pot lid method. Now get yourself a little dish soap. Saturate a large towel in warm water. Bring it out. Now place your boot or older shoe. I mean, you can use a new shoe. Doesn't quite matter, but you wanna make sure that you can fit all the edges of your rag inside of the shoe. Stick your hand in there. Go, go gadget hand. Now you've increased the surface area of your hand and your sponge. I mean, look at that. That's a 10 foot shoe, over a 10 foot shoe. And now you can use this to clean whatever area that you want to. And then all you have to do is wring out your rag, get a little bit warmer, add a little bit more soap if you want to, or just get a big soapy bowl of water and you can do it that way. Yes, my friend. If you need the shoe tighter on your hands, all you have to do is tie the shoe tighter. So that way when you're slipping your hand inside, there's a bit more tension for you to grip right here, tighten the laces. You can also use this method on windows, on showers, on bathtubs, but if you want to see an even easier way to clean your couches, transform them, click this video on screen now. But if you wanna see my favorite way to clean floors, hardwood, linoleum, tile, all of the above, you name it, click this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.